How can school and district leaders support the implementation of intensive intervention? So it's really important for a building leader and or a district leader to have DBI as part of the vision, as part of the mission of their school, of their district. Somebody who has that executive leadership to make decisions regarding who and when professional, who will attend professional development, when professional development will be held, um, trainings that will be held. Leadership needs to assume positive intentions of all their staff and this allows for um, very productive dialogue to occur among all colleagues within the building at all levels. And then leadership also is the driving force behind competing initiatives. So they are the ones who create the um, priorities and they are the ones who are making the decisions on what is going to be accomplished. So a building principal or a district leader needs to be there to make sure coaching support is in place, that the right people are on the bus and that the bus is moving in the right direction for the vision and mission of the school and of the district.